So I'm going to be adding some soundproofing to my studio here for my microphone and general sound improvement. Um, here's the issue. You can hear a little bit of echo there, hopefully. <laughs> and it's really bad in here, but I won't be soundproofing or sound uh, insulating in here because um, this is not where my studio is. <laughs> you can definitely hear like a ring. And so anyways, my plan is I might put a few panels here. And I'll probably have to put a carpet here. And then here I might have to put a uh, blanket um, or a uh, curtain, a thick curtain. And I can put probably a little on the windows. However, uh, I'll put them on a movable, let's say, piece of material so that I can kind of shift them around if I want to open up the windows or whatever. And so I'll put a few here because this is the first reflection, I guess. And then this is the next one, which is the, uh, as far as like when I'm singing. And then this is the next one. <clears throat> and so that also help improve the listening environment, hopefully. And so over here and over here uh, will be a couple panels. And then lastly, some panels on the back here. And by the time, you know, this is all said and done, that might be uh, covered with either blanket or curtain, like I say. And so... Because of the way this room is oriented, I can't really move my desk um, in terms of making the long uh, area the sort of side instead of the way it is now uh, because this leads to a really nice view and I, I'm at the age where I care more about my view than I care about, you know, the super fine detail of soundproofing. So anyways, that's the plan and hopefully you can hear probably a little bit of echo in my voice. Uh, but also all the echo from the clapping and whatnot. Uh, just to give an example, so the, these are the actual foam. Um, they're not, I guess they're some kind of material that they're just these little panels, really dense. And I got them cheap off of e, uh, Amazon. And then also I got this off of uh, Amazon cheap. Um, just wanted to see what I could get away with first before having to go, you know, d dive deeper into this. Not sure I'll put any on the ceiling. Um, another thing I might do is put a blanket on the desk. I heard that's also good. And definitely like everything in here is like flat surface, flat surface, flat surface and tiles. And so that's where, you know, some kind of carpeting would come into play. All right. So that's the plan. And hopefully you get an idea of the reverberation going on here. And I'll do some examples with the mic so you can hear what's happening with the mic without any sound uh, treatment. So that's where my microphone generally is, and I'm usually probably two feet behind it, even though you're supposed to be right up close. So this is more of a, a natural situation um, where I would sing into my DAW. So just as, to give an example, I'll record it so that we can hear the reverberation that goes on sort of all around me, but especially coming from behind me and then hitting the system again, hitting the microphone again. There used to be a grand tower alone on the sea. You became the light on the dark side of me. Now the sound treatment can begin. So here is the thing that's going around my mic. It's basically a ripoff of the Chaotica eyeball. So here we go with this puppy. Lots of claims about what it can do. It had pretty good reviews on Amazon, and I kind of checked over all that stuff to see what's going on. All right. There's a device. The hole. Can we get that hole? <laughs> all right. My mic should fit in there just fine. It's got a bit of slack. And this part pops out. Ugh. You get the idea. Double mesh. Although they say you should use the windscreen in front of it as well. Some kind of attaching system here. 
crazy. This actually includes a special mic stand. Um, it looks like it's adaptable as well, but I'm going to be mounting this to my mic mount and boom. Um, but that's cool that they provide this. They did not even mention that they provide this. So I guess that would be if you want to just have it, you know, really close by or whatever. And this hole is actually adjustable. This little foam part will come out if your mic is bigger than the hole. This is an example. That goes in there. Nice. Another example, it looks like I will need that insert because the hole is too big for my mic, which is a Persona M7. So that fits really nicely. And I can kind of tweak it however I need to. There's a little bit of extra space that I could go either in or out of that. So that's nice. I'm going to have to adjust my pop filter a little bit to go a little further out. Very snazzy. So that's what the double pop filter installed that they provide. And then also I find it's really like rigid in terms of like movement. So if you're tweaking the stuff around, it's pretty snug. So nothing's going to shift around too much, which is nice. So we'll test the plosives with the pop filter they provided us. Provided us. Provided us. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So here's an example with me just talking to see what kind of reverberation is going on with my normal distance from the microphone. And then I'll get a little closer. This is an example of me talking to see what kind of reflections are involved with my abnormal distance from the microphone. So here's an example with a pop or a snap. And I'll do one closer. So now I'm doing one with me a bit closer to the mic, which is the normal way to do things here. So in this way we can hear much less reflections um, but I'm much closer to the microphone and there's a little bit of a proximity effect, obviously. I would say this is a really, really good result. Probably brought up the quality from like 30% quality up to somewhere around 75% quality in terms of room recording ambience. And plus, here in Florida, we have these pesky air conditioning systems and window units. And so because this mic is sort of isolated, um, th thanks to the capsule, it's going to help to noise reduce some of the things that are around it. All right, and while we're at it, may as well do one more test with me singing up close. There used to be a grand tower alone on the sea. You became the light on the dark side of me. And here's some pops and snaps. And here's some pops and snaps up close.